Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video is being seen and shared. Celine Driver once again uh, bringing you another unboxing and review of a watch that is not mine. Uh, this is a very special watch uh, and watch review. This watch was loaned in by a uh, subscriber, good friend of the channel. His name is John. I will not give his last name out. He is a subscriber. He does comment uh, quite often on my channel. If he wants to comment in this video and say, it's me, it's me, um, that's fine, but I'm not going to go any further than his first name. Um, John was very kind enough to loan in uh, this watch to my channel. Uh, he knows of my fondness for Bulova, uh, owning myself uh, two uh, very old uh, Bulova Accutrons, one of them being from 1961, so it's actually older than I am. It's now 60 years old as I make this video, actually, when I think about it. Um, and, uh, he, uh, talked about buying this watch for a very long time. And he, I thought jokingly at the time said that when he bought it, he was going to, uh, send it over to me to, uh, review because he's not a watch reviewer. He's a watch wearer, but he would like to, uh, I guess, find out how other people think of his watch. Now. Uh, you've seen the title of this thing, so you know this is a Bulova uh, Frank Sinatra uh, tribute watch. Um, John is a very big fan of of, uh, uh, of Frank, and uh, he was uh, very happy to buy this watch. Um, and uh, <laughs> he told me he loaned it to me without ever wearing it. I think if, if that's true, man, that's crazy. But you can see the outer sleeve with all the uh, numbers and everything on it, but the, the box itself is a beautiful, beautifully done box. Uh, Young at Heart, one of his very uh, famous pieces. The signature of uh, Frank himself. Not a real signature, of course, but uh, the best is yet to come. That's appropriate when you're looking at a closed watch box. Uh, my way, you know, these are very famous Frank Sinatra pieces. And of course, the piece that um, the watch is named after, uh, the musical piece, Fly Me to the Moon, and a picture of old Blue Eyes himself, you know, just the way we all remember. Well, I don't remember him. I mean, this was before my time, but all the pictures I've ever seen of Frank Sinatra and the uh, the hat with the suit. Um but lovely box. I don't. I, I don't think it's actual wood. It might be, but I'm not sure. But it's still a beautiful piece to look at. You open her up, and you have inside. You have uh, Sinatra collection with the famous uh, fedora. I think it's a fedora. You have setting instructions and warranty information. You know, there's not much to it. It's a trifold. No big deal. And then inside you have the watch itself. But before we get to the watch, I mean, look at the, look at the, I find this to be very amusing. I mean, I'm old enough to remember vinyl records and the, the hang tag is in there too. So, But I'm old enough to remember vinyl records. And um, I, I like that. And of course, Frank's era was the era of the vinyl record. Uh, there weren't even... Um, Really, there were no eight tracks back then. I maybe reel to reel tape, but everything was on records. And I, I love the record motif in, of the inner, of the inside of the box. And inside we have the watch itself. Yes, I know I'm four and a half minutes in. I just barely got to the watch. Uh, people complain about that every once in a while. My response is stop watching my videos because I do it. How did Frank say it? I do it my way. Ha ha. Anyway, beautiful watch. 
I mean, there, there's so many details about this watch. And John, I, I know you're watching. I know you said you didn't wear this watch. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to wear it either. Uh, I'm not going to size it to me. I'm not even taking the plastics off. Uh, I will size it to the point where I can do a wrist shot, but I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to change the setting of the watch. Uh, this is your watch, so you should have the privilege of doing that. Um, but a beautiful, beautiful watch. And get the, um, I'm going to get the hands to the typical 10 and 2 so it doesn't interfere. You can see the watch starts ticking right away. We'll get to, get to that in a minute. Frank's signature is at the bottom, along with the uh, announcement that this is an automatic. You have the Boulevard logo at the 12 o'clock. You have a very small date window at the 3 o'clock. And you have an exhibition case back. You have the um, Fly Me to the Moon on the inside of the leather strap, of, along with the Boulevard signature there you have a deploy butterfly style clasp sort of a nice textured uh, I believe it's a I believe it is a, a simulation of a, a lizard skin or a snake skin I actually couldn't find any information about whether it was uh, simulated or real but uh, and of course, in the um, exhibition case back, you see the uh, the um, oops, that way Sinatra, "Fly Me to the Moon," and the uh, movement inside. We'll get to that in a minute. I love the sunburst style. I guess you call that a sunburst or the textured dial. The texture of the dial is just beautiful. And like I said, I'm I'm going to close the clasp so that we get a decent look at the wrist shot but I'm not going to size it I'm not going to change the size to what it was set but it, actually it almost fits me just the way I might one notch tighter maybe but on my seven and a quarter inch wrist this watch just wears beautifully I mean it's a pure three-hander dress watch uh, it's supposed to slide easily under a cuff and I am absolutely sure that it will do that Beautifully done watch. Very nice. Open her up here so we can get her off. Close it back up again. I promised John I would take extra good care of this watch. Now, John sent me some information about this watch that I thought I would read to you while you look at it. Uh, the watch is limited to 1,212 pieces to commemorate Frank's birthday of 1212 December 12th so 1212 so uh, that is um, the limit to the run additionally the 12 o'clock uh, indice is the only one in Roman numerals to commemorate uh, uh, that date so there is a 12 theme uh, throughout the, uh, the watch. Um, the, uh, the, the number of this watch is a, a 1111 out of uh, 1212. So that's actually, uh, he says it's kind of cool that he got 1111 out of 1212. Uh, I'm sure it's back there somewhere. My eyesight is so poor that I don't know if you guys see it that's good but you know it's 11 number 11 11 out of 12 12 so he got he really I don't know if he meant to do that or not but he got lucky on that one um, just a beautiful beautiful watch <clears throat> love the the delicate the hands are very delicate Really a very nice looking piece. Um, this is uh, the Boulevard. I have my uh, sheet of facts here, by the way. Boulevard Frank Sinatra. It's the Fly Me to the Moon edition. There were other editions 
in the Sinatra collection. This is part of the Fly Me to the Moon edition. This is the gold automatic uh, part number or model number 97B196, which you can actually see right there at the bottom. It is a 40 millimeter case, uh, 20 millimeter lug, 12 millimeter thick with a flat sapphire crystal. Uh, 47.7 millimeter on the tip to tip. That was the only measurement I had to take personally. I couldn't find that online with a signed crown, yes. But 47.7, so call it 48 millimeter tip to tip. So not a very broad watch. Uh, 30 meter water resistance. Uh, that's typical for a dress watch. You could get it wet accidentally. Uh, if you get caught in the rain, you splash water on while you're washing your hands. Uh, should be okay. Uh, don't swim with it. Don't even think about swimming with it. If somebody shoves you in the pool, try and throw the watch away from you as you fall into the pool. Uh, <laughs> I always use the falling into the pool uh, scenario because it's kind of funny and it does happen more often than you think. It happened to me once uh, and it did actually ruin a watch that I was wearing. Um such as life uh the movement is a miota it's an 8215 automatic uh it hand winds it does hack as you oh wait does it hack no it does not hack i'm sorry i'm a fool uh it does not hack but it is a hand wind it does have a date movement on it as you can see um it does hand wind. It does not hack. Well, but, <clears throat> pardon me. Why would you want to dress watch the hack, right? Silly Celine driver. Eh, just pay attention. Let's see. Typical uh, uh, fixed by spring bars for the uh, strap. So not a quick release. So you will need a tool to play with that. It's um, signed. Uh clasp it is a butterfly style clasp but with uh, a strap so you can actually adjust it you know my feelings on butterfly clasps with um bracelets you can't micro adjust them which is typically a big pain uh du double deployment uh push buttons it will not deploy or, or open with a single push you need both um and what is it stainless steel it does say stainless steel on the uh deploy so the case i already know is stainless steel so it is stainless steel all around it has a very nice shiny looks like good quality plating on it so it looks like it will you know hold up well very low profile crown it is signed with the uh proper logo I just just overall a very nice um, very simple three-hander dress business watch looks like something that Frank would have worn really maybe a little bigger than uh, was uh, his time I mean you know his time uh, back then, uh, people were going for smallness and thinness to show the the watchmaking skill and technology of the day. Not like nowadays where you, um, I think the average size of a watch now is in the 42 to 43 millimeter range. But and this is a little under that at 40, but um, it'll wear well on a, a lot of different variety of wrists owing to the uh, short lugs. It's just a beautiful watch. John, I really think you've picked a very, very nice watch. Um, it, she's a beauty. She runs beautiful. I put her on the time graph for, that I have, and, and she's a, a good, accurate movement. And it's a Miyoto movement. So, you know, if it does go wrong, I mean, it's a Miyoto. Anybody in the, in the, in, 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 in the brother 
can work on it. So it's not like you're going to have to send it back to, uh, to the manufacturer to, uh, to work on it. So that's it. I mean, just a beautiful watch, beautifully presented. And a nice tribute to probably one of the greatest entertainers of any generation. So with that, I'm going to wrap the video up. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a thumbs up would be appreciated. The thumbs up does help with the YouTube algorithm for searching. The more thumbs up a video gets, the more likely it is going to appear in a search. And the more thumbs up a video gets, the higher it will appear in that search. So it helps bring people to my channel. So please help me out with that. Uh, comments, questions, suggestions down below. I do read them all. I do respond to them all. Uh, however, if you are going to post links that take my viewers to bad places on the web, I will delete the comment and I will block the commenter. Likewise, if you're going to uh, post hateful or other troll related garbage on my channel, I will delete that comment and I will block that commenter. Uh, finally, if you are new to the channel, of course, welcome. I'm very glad you found me. Uh, feel free to uh, look around. I have uh, almost uh, at this point 400 videos to uh, look over in a variety of subjects, not just watches. All I ask is that uh, uh, in return, before you leave, please click the subscribe button. When you do, click the bell icon so that when I upload new content, you will be alerted. And when I do my live streams, which I do at least once a week on Wednesdays in the afternoons, and other times during the week uh, when time and opportunity permit, uh, you'll be alerted when those live streams starts and you can uh, stop by and join me and the rest of my lively crew. Meanwhile, thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay well, stay healthy. Be careful out there. See you soon.